My name is Jacob, I'm from London and uh, I study at Plovdiv University. And my name is Savashi, I'm from London and I'm studying medicine at Plovdiv University. Hi, I'm Anshira, I'm from the UK and I'm studying at Plovdiv Medical University and I'm doing the dentistry course. Hello, my name is Barrett, I'm from the UK, Origins is from India and I'm going to be entering Plovdiv Medical University first year. I'm Kubra, I'm 22 years old, I'm from Germany and I'm studying medicine and Plovdiv at the Medical University. My name is Gairi and I'm from the UK. I, I am now a student at Plovdiv Medical University. Studying in Bulgaria was born out of necessity because the UK is extremely competitive for medicine. Um, so Bulgaria is one of the options which provided an ease of access into medicine. By the same time, they had reputable medical schools which were recognised by the World Medical Board or Directory for Medical Schools. So it would be ease of access into other countries if you should want to apply and practice medicine elsewhere other than Bulgaria. Firstly, obviously, it was really competitive in the UK. So I was looking around at other countries like the Czech Republic and I was looking at Prague and maybe Malta, but I found Bulgaria to be the best because a lot of students from the UK come here and I found that medicine was quite different but similar to the UK. Plus I get an international degree which is really um, helpful in the future. Plus the weather here is much better than the UK. The fees are lower. The life here is quite slower than London which I find really nice because the sun is out here more than London and, it's, and the atmosphere is just better for learning. So medicine here seems quite chill and it's going to be hard but I feel like the atmosphere is going to help me a lot with my mental health as well. Studying abroad was always obviously an option and so I did my research um, and at Plovdiv Medical University there's a lot of good clinical experience especially in dentistry um, and we had some family friends here and they recommended it so um, I just figured Plovdiv is probably the good choice. First of all, I didn't get into medicine in the UK, unfortunately, but after that I found that a few friends moved to Bulgaria. So I have a two friends here in Plovdiv, another friend uh, in Varna, and they recommended me, they were like, it's a really good place, and I didn't really want to take a gap year, I wanted to go this year, so as they recommended me, and they said, here as well, the medicine is the same, it's very good as well, that's why I chose and um, decided to come here. It's actually pretty difficult to get to university in Germany uh, when you want to go study medicine and um, don't have the grades for it. And so I started to look for alternatives and a um, pretty good friend of mine studied here in Plovdiv and she was pretty happy about the university and the city and the life here. I was doing my research about medical schools in Europe and Bulgaria was one of my top choices. And I've learned that the cost of living here is cheaper than where I used to live. And also, the, there are good medical schools here, like Plovdiv Medical University. The motivation to study medicine was always there from a very young age. I've always wanted to actively help people and um, take a role in a career which I could affect a positive change in people's lives. And uh, being a doctor was, was better suited to me as a person in terms of my personality as opposed to being a nurse, not to disc discredit any nurses out there, but medicine for me was my, my choice and my wife is also a doctor as well and we, we wanted to move forward to this, towards this goal together. So I've worked in um, the ambulance service in the UK, uh, so I've done uh, volunteering work in hospices, um, so I have have had an active role in the UK healthcare prior to coming to Bulgaria. So I have somewhat of an apt understanding of how the procedures are. All that I need now is the clinical skills to actually apply it. Since a young age, I've always been playing with stethoscopes and like doctors, nurses with my cousins. And a lot of my mom's family are also in the medical field. So I've grown up watching them help people. So I was like, I want to help people as well. And I've just always been fascinated by biology. So I thought medicine would be ideal for me since I'm also a very talkative person. So talking to patients will be really easy for me as well. Communication is 
one of my main strong skills as well. So medicine is the one. I've done work experience at a pharmacy before. So I know a, lot, a couple of drugs and everything and problems uh, people face and I've distributed drugs and I've known like the science behind it. So that's the medicinal part. And I've also done a 10 day internship at UCL in London for young doctors. And I've done a lot of hospital work experience during those days. I've done GP work experience. I've talked to patients, diagnosed them. I've done a couple of um, ethical workshops and everything. So I know how examinations and everything work and the legal part of the whole medical field. Firstly, I feel like the main advantage of me doing the internship was that I had like face-to-face -face contact, first-hand contact with real patients and the fact that they helped me to examine them and they taught me techniques on how to examine and diagnose their treatments. I feel like that would really help me in preparing my questions and communication skills with the patients here and in the future because now I have knowledge on how to ask patients how to go about making them feel comfortable and everything and yeah I've, I just gained general knowledge about medicine different conditions how to diagnose and that would really help me in the future as a doctor. I did some work experience over in year 12 at a dental practice across from my house um, and I just really liked how the dentist was with the patients the patients kept coming back it wasn't like they only came to you when they were only ill they had to come back every few weeks for like their treatment um, so you got to build like that rapport with them uh, and it's just like a nice profession I thought it was like a really nice team having in a practice you've got your dental nurse you've got your dentist obviously so it was just like a nice sort of teamwork sort of career that I liked. Uh, medicine because well I really like sciences and always always love to help people and it was just like my passion I guess I've always, and when I did experience in it, um, it was really rewarding, looking at people, helping them, and them just saying thank you afterwards. It was just really, really reward, rewarding. I just loved it. So I just I thought, it's for me. It best reflects on me. I don't want to do anything else. In the UK, I, did, uh, I worked in the emergency department and cardiology and I experienced loads of stuff like how ECGs work, how they do checkups, how, do how they do the normal rounds, how they check people in and everything. And the doctors were really nice and just seeing them work with patients and the patients trusting their doctor as well. It was really nice to see that bond within those few minutes they meet and that trust is just never ending, I guess. Actually, I graduated in pediatric nursing last week and I um, wanted to get more knowledge and um, yeah, I always wanted to, uh, I was more interested in more and so I decided to study medicine. I enjoy doing and studying um, science subjects and also after doing hospital work experience and uh, volunteering in the UK, uh, I realized how fulfilling and rewarding medicine can be despite all the, all the challenges. So that's when I uh, confirmed my decision to pursue medicine. It's firstly just attending lectures, just for, getting hands on with cadavers, uh, getting some form of clinical experience in the sixth year of medical school, and just finally get into grips of the whole concept because it's all scattered in terms of my understanding of healthcare but I just want to link all the dots together if that makes sense and going through medical school and doing the clinical experience from the sixth year will connect that all together and that hopefully will lead to an ease of transition when it comes to applying back into the UK. Firstly I've made all the friends that was the main problem that I had before like I, I didn't know if I was going to meet new people or how they're going to be but that's over and done with. Everyone is amazing. My group has gone really close. The one thing I'm looking forward to is, obviously I'm here to study medicine, which is really, really hard. But other than that, I'm looking forward to like other events, like joining societies, going maybe on a road trip to Turkey or Greece one day. And um, I want to go skiing again. Um, 
yeah just going around the country hanging around with the friends and yeah obviously you need to study but yeah just you know making new friends connections because I've heard that the people you meet in university they're gonna be here for like for life so yeah just making connections making new friends and just enjoying the experience of being in a new country for university. Learning new, the new language and also new teachers, new people, new country, just experience, experiencing everything. I'm looking forward to all of that. I look forward to, I guess, uh, anatomy and maybe other subjects because apparently even though they're hard, apparently they're really interesting and there's so much to learn about the human body which nobody knows about. So. I'm really fascinated in that, so I'm looking forward to that. So I look forward to making good new, uh, having good new experiences at the university, as well as making new friends and being fully equipped for the medical career that I've chosen. In terms of the field that I would want to go into after graduation, I can't say for certain because my main focus at this point in time is just to complete medical school. And I'm sure I'll be exposed to all different elements of of healthcare, of medicine, and from there I can take a uh, active choosing to where I want to go afterwards. But at this moment in time, all I want to focus on is just past medical school, which in itself is a difficult feat, but it is achievable through hard work, I'm told. <laughs>